Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. So today we are going to look at one uh, exercise. Okay, on the mixing process topics. Okay. So, uh, let's look at this question first. Okay, a 100% outdoor summer air conditioning system has a room sensible heat load of 400 kilowatt and a room latent heat load of 100 kilowatt. The required inside conditions are 24 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity. And the outdoor design conditions are 34 degrees Celsius and 40% of relative humidity. Okay, the air is supplied to the room at a dry bulb temperature of 14 degrees Celsius. Okay, before we proceed with question A and B, let's try to draw the system first. Okay, huh? so it mentioned here that it is a 100% Outdoor summer air conditioning system. Ah, okay, so let's draw the basic first. Huh? First, we have what? First, we have our room. Of course, ah, room. Ah. Okay, our room here. And also, we have our cooling coil. Okay, and cooling coil here will be supplied to this room. Okay, and room here will release. The air, okay. So we will have a fan, ah. Huh? Okay, like this, ah. Huh? Okay. So mention here, one hundred percent outdoor summer air conditioning system. What does it mean? Is that actually the flow here there is going into this cooling coil here, this one, okay. This cooling coil here is one hundred percent come from the outdoor or from the outside air okay so no inside air is being recirculated to this cooling coil okay 100% outdoor okay that's what it, it means huh? 100% outdoor so here the condition of the room first 400 kilowatt okay 400 kilowatt means that we have QS 400 Kilowatt, and then we have what latent heat load. So QL latent ah, latent is one hundred kilowatt. Okay, what else? The required inside conditions are twenty four degrees Celsius and RH fifty percent. So this one TI here is twenty four an hour. And the relative humidity is 40, uh, sorry, 50%. 50%. Okay. And then, the outdoor design conditions are 34 degrees Celsius and 40% RH. So, our outdoor T out is 34 degrees Celsius and RH is 40%. Okay. So the air is supplied to the room at the dry bulb temperature of 14 degree Celsius. So means that our TS is equals to 14 degree Celsius. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, schematic diagram of the system. Okay, so air coming from the outside 100% will be cooled down by this. Uh, cooling coil and then enters this room here and then the air from the room here will exit okay and exit to the environment okay okay so a if the bypass factor is zero uh, what does it mean by bypass factor is zero okay so if you check back our previous lecture the key point when the bypass factor is equal to zero is that this one ah, so T S in the supply air is equals to T A D P apparatus dew point temperature ha. This is the meaning of bypass equals to zero ah. Okay. Number one required. Okay, determine the required mass flow rate of air. Okay, so let's try to look at the solution. Okay. 
Okay, this is the solution. Okay. So for to calculate the mass, uh, this one ah, uh, the mass flow rate of the supply air ah, uh, this one ah. Uh, okay, ms here. Okay, let's write it down ah, uh, ms ah. Uh. Okay, ms. Okay, so ms here. We use this one because we have the info of 400 kilowatt okay, sensibility of the room. So we can use this one. So QS is equals to 1.0216 MS. Okay, this is what we want to find. And then TI minus TS. Okay, why I select this equation? Because we have the info of TI. Okay, this one. Okay, the air temperature that leaves the room, TI. And also the supply temperature, TS. Okay. So sensible heat is equals to this equation multiply with the temperature difference before and after. Okay. Or after and before either one. Lah. Okay. So temperature difference after is Ti, before is Ts. So we get Ms is equals to 39.154 kilogram per second. Uh, okay, let's write it down. Lah. So this one is 39.154. 154 kilogram per second. Okay, so next. Humidity ratio of supply air. Uh, okay. Ah, this one. Okay. For this one here, okay, if you look carefully at this uh, equation here, to calculate uh, WS, okay, humidity ratio of the supply air here is WS. Okay. For WS here, because we have the value of latent heat of the room, so we can use QL, okay, this equation. Okay. Because we already found MS already. Okay, MS here is this one, 39.154. Okay. And WI here, we can calculate WI. Okay. So, the only unknown is WS. Okay. So, we can use this equation. So, as I mentioned earlier, we can find WI. Okay. From this one. Okay. The value of RH and also the value of inside temperature, which is 24 degree Celsius. Okay. So, RH here is equals to PW over PWS. So, PWS here is saturation pressure at TI is uh, 24 degrees Celsius. So, after we calculate, we get PWS equals to this one, 3.00368 kilopascal. Ah. Okay, I forgot to put this one, ah, kilopascal. So, this one should be kilopascal. Okay. And then, from here, we can use this equation again to calculate PW. So, to calculate PW here, this one here, we use, uh, okay, uh, this one, uh, the relation RH is 0 0.5 equals to PW over PWS, okay, the one that we calculated, okay, the saturation pressure at uh, 24 degrees Celsius, then we can find PW is equals to 1.50184 kilo pascal. Okay, from here, then we can use this equation. Okay, the equation to calculate humidity ratio, which is this one, 0 0.622, multiply with PW over total pressure minus PW. Then we can get the answer is 0 0.00936 kilogram per kilogram dA. Okay. So, we insert this WI, the value here, into this equation here, okay, QL equation. Then, we can get the value of WS, okay. So, we insert all the values here. So, the only unknown is WS. So, when we calculate WS, we get 0 0.0083 kilogram per kilogram dry air. Uh, okay, so... You must uh, know how to use this equation wisely. Huh? Okay, no, please know how to select which equation is the best to use. Okay, so the next question, find the sensible and latent heat load on the coil. 
Okay, so they gave you the info of this one. Okay, the room. Ah. So we need to find the coil. Okay, so how to find the coil? Okay, let's look at the solution here. Okay, I put it here. Lah, eh. Okay, so sensible heat of the coil, still the same just like uh, the room. Ah. So this equation QS 1.0216 multiply with uh, mass flow rate, multiply with temperature difference. Before and after the coil uh, This one uh. So before the coil is what? 34 degrees Celsius After the coil is TS Which is 14 degrees Celsius So that's why we get 800 kilowatt This one QS coil Okay To calculate latent heat We use the same equation again Okay For latent heat uh. Equation for latent heat Which is this one And then we need to find the temp uh, Sorry Humidity ratio difference Okay Before and before and after okay the cooling coil okay so here if we look closely here this ws okay so ws here we already got the value here from question number 2 this one yeah ws here lama okay so ws here we got it from this one Okay, this one ah, WS. Okay, so we don't know the value here and also we don't know the value of WO. Okay, but again, just like question number 2, we can calculate WO, humidity ratio of the outside here, based on the temperature and also the relative humidity. Okay, so we do the same process just like question number 2. So, find PWS using uh, temperature 34 degrees Celsius. We can get 5.35266 kilopascal. And then, we can calculate PW using RH and PWS here. So, we get PW which is uh, this one. Uh, uh, partial pressure of the wet bulb temperature uh, is equal to 2.1411 kilopascal. And then... WO, okay, the value that we want to calculate here, WO, use this equation, then we can get WO is equals to 0 0.0134 kilogram per kilogram dry air. Uh, so, because we already got all the values here, just insert it into this uh, QL equation here, okay, and then we calculate, we can get, we will get the value is 498. 0.5 kilowatt. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Same ah. Okay, same process on how to find ah uh, W O. Okay, just like question number two. Okay, question number three. Ah, sorry, this one question number ah. Okay, yeah. question number three. So next question number four. Required cooling capacity of the coil, which is the total heat load. Ah, uh, so again. Okay. Total heat load means that we need to add sensible heat and also latent heat. Okay, so we have sensible heat already. We have latent heat already. So sensible heat plus with this latent heat. Okay, so this one is total heat load for the coil. Ah. Okay, again, ah, this one is for the coil. Ah. For room is different. Okay, coil is different. Okay, this one is for the coil. So... This one here, QS coil, 800 kilowatt plus with QL coil, which is 498.5. Okay. So, when we add these two here, we will get this one. Okay. So, the value is 1298.5 kilowatt. Okay. 800 plus 498.5. The question asks you, in kilowatt and also in TR okay. To convert kilowatt to TR So we need to divide this kilowatt here okay. Divide it with 3.5 okay. And then we can get 371 TR uh, okay. So this is the uh, total heat load of the cooling coil In kilowatt and also the in TR Okay so, coil sensible heat factor. Ah, so, for this one here, 
coil sensible heat factor is equal to ah uh, this one ah uh, I want to write it down ah uh. okay this one here for number five ah uh, okay change change to black okay number five here sensible coil sensible heat factor so means that C coil sensible heat factor is equals to QS over QT okay QS here is what QS is uh, 800 okay over with QT QT which is uh, 1298.5 okay so the coil sensible heat factor is equals to 0 0.616 okay yeah the answer ah okay okay next one last one if the bypass factor is 0 0.2 determine the coil apparatus dew point temperature ah, okay so this one here Okay, we have bypass equals to 0 0.2. Ah, so, if the bypass is 0, I mentioned earlier, TS will equals to apparatus dew point temperature. So, for this one here, so TS is not equals to TADP. Okay, so to calculate this one here, okay, TADP here, we, we can use the this one okay this one ah the bypass factor so bypass factor equation is this one okay ts minus tadp over temperature before the cooling coil minus tadp okay so we know the bypass factor is 0 0.2 and then ts we know it is 14 tbc is 34 and we want to find TADP. Okay, the only unknown here. So when we rearrange this equation here, we can get the answer TADP is equals to 9 degree Celsius. Ah, okay. So ah, that's it. Okay, so that is uh, one of the example of the mixing process topics. Okay, so hopefully. Uh, you can understand the solution here. If not, so please uh, watch this video okay, multiple times and try to look at the solution carefully okay, and try to understand it by yourself. Okay? So that's all from me. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.